and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make a banana bread with pineapple and coconut. This is uh, from a recipe which I saw, I had it sent to me, and it's from um, this Farm Girl Cooks website, and she calls it her, an Hawaiian uh, banana bread with coconut and pineapple. So basically, I'm going to do the same thing slightly different, you know, slightly changes because I've converted her uh, recipe into uh, metric uh, measurements and volumes actually. So I start off by preheating my oven to uh, 180 degrees Celsius, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit and I've lined a two pound loaf tin, nine inches by five inches basically with parchment paper. So that's a 900 gram loaf tin, uh, if you think of it that way, which would be 23 centimetres by about 11 centimetres. So I've, I've lined that and I've got my oven preheating. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this I have 250 grams, which is one and two thirds cups, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 200 grams, one cup of caster sugar, 113 grams, one stick of softened unsalted butter, two medium eggs, which would be large in the USA, one and a half grams, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, two grams, half a teaspoon of baking soda, four grams, uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I have uh, one very ripe banana which I have mashed and my ripe banana out of the skin just for information weighed about 130 grams so um, but you can use between one and two ripe bananas basically and just smash it up and it will start to discolour uh, as the air hits it but don't worry about it and I also have um, one cup 240 millilitres of crushed pineapple and basically what I did was I took pineapple chunks, uh, uh, drained the syrup off those chunks and processed the chunks leaving any juice which came out of them in there and that's one cup or 240 millilitres of pineapple and I also have 25 grams uh, which is a quarter of a cup of shredded coconut. You could use desiccated coconut if you can't find shredded coconut. And the first thing we need to do is to cream our butter and sugar together until it's nice and light and fluffy. So I've put my butter in the bowl and I'll add the sugar in. And I'm just going to whisk that until it is combined and it's nice and uh, turns pale and it's nice and light. And then I'm going to put the eggs in one at a time and I'm going to beat those until they're incorporated. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to add my pineapple and the banana and I'm going to stir those in. I could whisk them but I'm going to stir them in. And that's very easy. And so after that I need to simply fold in the dry ingredients. And so I'm going to put the baking soda, baking powder and salt into the flour. I'll just give that a bit of a stir around and then I'm going to sift that onto the wet ingredients and 
and I, I don't think you need to sift it particularly, but I'm going to. That just helps to make sure the baking soda and baking powder and salt get fairly evenly distributed. And I'm going to fold that in. And once it's almost folded in, I'm going to add the shredded coconut as well. So I'm going to sprinkle over the coconut and continue to fold it until it's all incorporated. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to put that into my uh, prepared loaf tin, which I, as I said, I've greased and lined. I'm just going to spread that out to level it off. Like that. And I'm actually going to just drag a line down the centre. And quick breads like this tend to split as they rise. And so I'm hoping that that will encourage the split to be down the centre. But it, wherever it splits, it doesn't matter. So that's everything mixed together and it's in the tin. So now it simply needs to go into the oven uh, to bake. And I'm going to bake mine for uh, 60 minutes. And after 60 minutes, I'm going to test it with a skewer. If it comes out clean, I'll take it out. If it doesn't, I'll leave it for a little bit longer until that skewer test does come out clean. And then once it's uh, like that, I'll take it out of the oven, leave it for 10 minutes in the tin, then I'll take it out of the tin and transfer it to a wire rack to allow it to cool completely. And once it's cooled completely, I'll come back and we'll have a taste of it. I baked the uh, banana bread with the coconut and pineapple for 60 minutes and it rose up. It didn't split as much as I thought it might uh, along the top, but uh, that's fine. It baked very, very well. I tested it with a skewer after 60 minutes and it came out clean. So I've allowed it to cool down and I've taken it out of the tin and I have cut a slice. So this is what it looks like. And it baked very, very well, I have to say. Um, and mine is slightly warm still, but that's fine. So I'll have a taste of a piece. Mm. It's lovely and moist. And you've got the the flavour of the banana coming through. Just a little bite from the occasional flake of coconut and fruitiness. You do get a fruity flavour. Pineapple, when it's baked like this, doesn't give off a tremendous amount of flavour, but it certainly adds to the overall flavour of the cake or the, the, the quick bread. 
So this is a very simple recipe and it works very, very well. And for my money, it can be used and served uh, in slices as a cake or it can ser be served in slightly thicker slices as a dessert with some cream or even with some custard so or some ice cream. So that's going to be it for this recipe and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.